Hey, good afternoon everybody. This is Rob here in Albuquerque. Wanted to take a couple of minutes to kind of give a preview into a trip I'm going to take starting tomorrow. Uh, we're leaving for Moab, Utah from the Albuquerque area. And uh, we'll be uh, riding up there probably most of the day Friday. Uh, it's about a 350 mile trip, I believe, maybe around 400 miles or so. Uh, and then from there, um, we'll spend the day in Arches National Park on Saturday. And then Sunday, we're going to go up to um, Grand Junction and then uh, go up a little bit north from there and then start heading back south through the uh, Rocky Mountains, eventually ending up in Cortez, Colorado, Sunday evening for the night and then back home. Uh, kind of in a roundabout way um, on Monday. But before we do that, I wanted to just kind of show how I use Butler Maps to plan my trip, uh, to pre-plan. Now, if you've never heard of Butler Maps, it's butlermaps.com. Uh, they make maps predominantly for motorcycle riding. Uh, so they have a lot of different states, and they have, like, Route 66. They have the entire route there that are that you can plan out. But what's nice about the Butler maps is that um, not only are they foldable in any kind of way you want to do that, but they're very hard to rip. They're tear proof or tear resistant and they are waterproof. So they're excellent for carrying on a motorcycle or throwing in your, your bag and having them available when you're on a trip so that you can plan out you know a lot of the back roads that you'll see this here this map here is for new mexico i've had this one for quite some time i use it quite a bit uh within my own state and i've been on probably uh 80 of the back roads uh well the touring back roads for for motorcycle riding now butler maps this is a g1 series butler maps also has a series of maps for adventure riding so they'll get a lot of the the back road the dirt roads the gravel roads uh, the, you know the forest roads things like that so that's also available on their website or on amazon.com um, just a shout out to Butler Maps so I've had the New Mexico one for quite some time as I mentioned but I did not have a map for Utah and Colorado and I'm in Colorado quite a bit I don't know why I didn't get one earlier but um, I went ahead for this trip so that way I could do some back road planning and, uh, and ordered them. So I got the Utah one on Amazon.com on the Butler Maps store that they have there. And they did not have the G1 series for Colorado available on Amazon. So I called them and spoke to a, a lady named Sandra who uh, works in their sales department or customer service. And uh, I told her I wanted to order this map, but I wanted to make sure I would be able to get it in time for my trip on Friday. This, this was on Monday when I called. She said that she would look for the order, and as soon as it came through, she would make sure that it got out in the mail that afternoon. And guess what? I got the map yesterday, and I can't speak highly enough of uh, their customer service. She was just awesome. In fact, I called her, <coughs> pardon me, called her a little bit ago, to thank her for sending that out and keeping an eye on it and told her I was going to create a video um, and just talk about Butler Maps in general. So let's go back to the map itself. One of the things that you'll notice on this one here for New Mexico is that um, you'll see different color coding um, throughout the, the map itself. So if you see something that's highlighted in red, like I'm highlighting here, that means that, you know, this is a pretty good road to take take your motorcycle out on. If you see something that's highlighted in kind of a goldish color, um, like a dark yellow, that's a, actually a better route. Those are better routes, better roads for motorcycling. So, so that's good. That's better. And then when you see something that's in bright gold, like you'll see here periodically throughout the map, uh, those are the best roads in the state to ride your motorcycle on. That's what I like about these maps. Um, I can look at it and I can say, well, I want to go, you know, to uh, Chimayo, you know, which is up by Española. You know, what are the best routes that I'll have the most fun on? So as I, as I look 
you know, where I live here in Tejeras, you know, I would take 14 and then go up, and then I would take these color-coded roads, and you would get the twisties, you'd get the, the sightseeing, the mountains, the lakes, you know, whatever that area has to offer. So that's what I use it for. Now for this trip coming up tomorrow, um, we went ahead and looked at our map last night, and um, we're going to leave from Tejeras, where we both live, and we're going to head up to 550. 536 over to 165 which takes us into Bernalillo the little town of Bernalillo we'll take 550 north which is just a standard route I actually have some videos on that um, when I did my during or my Via Cito Lake trip and my million dollar highway trip in July uh, we actually came back up this way and then I'll we'll go up to Bloomfield so instead of going up to Aztec and then over to Durango this way going north you know we'll just cut across to farmington to shiprock and then we'll head north on 491 into cortez so now i'm going to pull over my colorado map and um have it all folded pre-folded here for you guys and uh, you can see the little town of cortez here we'll continue on 491 cross over the the utah state line and uh, from here, from 491, I'll pull in my Utah map. And uh, you can see here from 491 goes into Monticello. We'll stop there for a break, no doubt. And from there, we'll turn north on 191, come up through the, the canyons and the beautiful uh, uh, vistas that are up here. And we'll end up in Moab, and we'll be staying, staying there Friday night. Uh, Saturday, I mentioned, we'll be doing Arches National Park. You know, all these roads in red here spend the day or at least four hours in this area. And then Sunday, we're going to take, you notice, this gold, bright gold color route out of Moab. Um, one of the best road routes in the, sit in the state. We'll take that, meander all the way up to highway or I-70. We'll take I-70 just a short distance back into Colorado, which takes us into the Grand Junction, city of Grand Junction. We'll probably stop at the Harley dealership there. And, uh, and then eventually we'll head back up just a little bit out of Grand Junction so that we can catch the turnoff at Dubuque. And then we'll take um, Highway 65. We'll start taking this south uh, down through the mountains, ending up in Montrose, continuing on down to almost to Ure. But uh, in Ridgeway, we'll cut across to Placerville, and then we'll come back down. You can see the pristine routing that the map is describing. And then we'll eventually come down through the mountains uh, on 145, down into Cortez. We'll spend the night in Cortez. And then the next day, on Monday, we'll head back down on 491, back into New Mexico. Except this time, instead of coming through um, Bloomfield and down to Cuba and Bernalillo we're going to come straight down 491 and in Sheep Springs which is on the Navajo res Reservation we're going to cut over on 134 which I didn't know this road existed until I looked at my Butler map and saw that hey this might be a really pristine back road to take uh, through the, the, the Chuska Mountains on the reservation and then head down eventually to Window Rock and then through Gallup and then we'll end up taking I-40, you know, which is very boring, but we'll take I-40 back back home to Tejeras where we both live, and, uh, and that'll wrap up our trip. So four days, but you can see how I use the Butler maps uh, to kind of look and see what's available and what might be of interest to do, and, uh, and that's, that's how I use those. So I love these maps. Um, if you've not seen them before, they are strictly for motorcycle riding. Of course, you can use them for anything, but... But they really highlight the pristine or the best routes to take for motorcycle riding. Um, so that's how I use them. Of course, I do uh, plug in the route as well into my uh, to Google Maps, which I then uh, export into my Garmin GPS. And so I have everything there at my fingertips as well on a GPS. But I like to look at the maps first just to kind of get a general idea of of what we want to do, where we want to stay, what are some of the things to see in the area, 
and uh, you know how how would we enjoy that? One other thing to call out here: you see these different uh, blocks um, that are highlighted on the map. You know, so I've got 22, 19, 12, 16. So 19 is one of the areas that we're going to go through um, out of Dubuque, coming down through the mountains on 65. So what does that mean? Well, if you go to the back side of the mount of the map. You can look at the chart that they have there. And so, you know, here's number 19, if you can see it, uh, G319, Grand Mesa Scenic Byway. And then it gives you a little description as to what you would expect on that route. And then a detailed blow up of that particular route and, you know, some of the different um, towns you might pass through, things like that. So here's what it would say. You know, so for the Grand Mesa Scenic Byway, which I've never been on, this will be my first time, it says it's rising nearly 5,000 feet above the surrounding river valleys. Grand Mesa is the largest elevated flat top land structure in the world. The road that transports you to the top is defined by steep and steady climbs from sandstone canyons and farmland up to alpine lakes. Be prepared for significant temperature changes in gorgeous vistas of western Colorado. Use Highway 65 from the northwest or the Dubuque Cutoff Road, which we're taking, for excellent additions to this must-do Colorado ride. So that's exciting. We looked at that last night, and that kind of, you know, really piqued our interest, and we got excited about it. And uh, we can't hardly wait to, to see what those look like. I have looked at a few YouTube videos of those roads, and, it, man, it looks spectacular. I'm looking forward to recording my own videos. I will post shorts as I can uh, while I'm on the trip, and I will also point those shorts to longer videos uh, that I'll create once this trip is over. So stay tuned for that, guys. So be safe out there. Check out butlermaps.com if you've not seen them before. Grab one for your area. See what you think about it. And I'd be interested to uh, hear your comments on any of these topics. So talk to you later. Bye.